to Little Blessed Nest. My name is Stephanie. If you are new here, we live in a single wide mobile home. It is a 14 by 54. I always forget. I think it's a 14 by 54 uh, mobile home. If you haven't seen our videos from when I first started my channel, you can go back and watch what our home looked like when we first bought it. I have videos for each room showing what it looked like when we began and what it looks like now. So if you are interested in watching those, they're back at the very beginning. Today's video, we're going to be doing a bathroom, um, kind of like declutter, clean with me sort of situation <laughs> going on there. I was just in here doing my makeup and made things even messier than they already were. <laughs> so as you can see, it's stuff everywhere. I need to put all this away. This mirror is super dirty. I've got to clean that, clean the sink, and then this is a total mess. I got a dust for sure. Um, <laughs> yeah pretty dusty gotta clean all this organize it and then we're gonna sweep and mop and definitely dust under there because when I was cleaning out the closet I saw like a ton of dust all right I'm gonna dust this off it's dusty also and I cleaned my shower already so basically we're just focusing on this area getting it clean and organized and I'm gonna work on underneath my vanity here so let's get started on that. In this little container here, I keep some of the makeups that I use like all the time. That way I don't have to dig through other stuff for it. Like my, my foundation <laughs> and some lip glosses, things like that that I use a lot. I'm just sticking right in here. I have a lid for it somewhere. switched out my light bulbs a few minutes because I had yellow light bulbs in here and it wasn't doing good when I was trying to do my makeup video. Lid. I just have a mixture of Mr. Clean and water in here. This shelf was brown when I got it. I think my mom gave it to me and I chalk painted it black and put some poly, polycrylic on it. Um, it works. I can't, there's not a lot I can fit in this corner. I don't know. My light switch is under here so I can't really put a tall cabinet because then it would block the light switch. Having said that though, actually this probably works better than a cabinet would because I can put Timmy's razors and you know shaving cream, things like that that he uses a lot on this shelf and he can easily find it. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned in my videos or not, but he has vision problems. He can't really see out of one of his eyes and the other one isn't great either, so he, he needs things to be easily accessible and easy for him to identify. So, well, actually probably we'll just leave this shelf here now that I think about it. all of my makeup brushes in this this was a pickle jar and I just put rice in the bottom of it and stick my brushes in there and my like eyebrow shaper thingamadodgers and my mascara things like that all right so this basket I got this one from TJ Maxx and I kind of just have everything stuck in here. I've dropped like five things since I've started this video. All right, so I'm gonna clean this out.
I have bandages here, nail polish remover, um, body spray, all these things I have storage for in my closet on my over the door storage unit. If you haven't seen the video where I organized that, I will um, put a link to it below. And so I'm just gonna put this stuff away and then finish working on my shelf. This is one of the storage bins that I had left over from my um, closet organizational video. So I'm going to use this here on this shelf. I think I really need one a little smaller, but I'm going to use this one for now and then be on the hunt for a smaller one to put Timmy's like shaving cream and like aftershave lotions, things like that and little colognes that he wears a lot. Combs just anything that he needs. It'll be easier for him to find the stuff right here. Got his shaving things here, my makeup and makeup brushes, hairbrush, you know, all of the bathroom essentials there. And then I've got like earrings and things like that down there in that container. And then my travel case for my makeup. And so now we're just gonna clean this up and organize it and organize down here. I'm not sure what else is going on down there, but we're gonna see. On our toilet, we have a riser on there so that it sits up. It's like a it's like a seat, a hard plastic seat that you sit on top of your toilet to make it higher for people who are have mobility problems. Well, it just got dark outside. Um, and it's like a four inch seat. I will tell you something funny about us having this riser. <sighs> when I go somewhere else, like in pu to a public place or anywhere else, and go to the bathroom I forget that not all toilets are that high <laughs> so I just go to sit and like pretty much just crash because <laughs> it's like four inches lower than I'm expecting it to be well, actually probably more than that because our toilet is a little bit of a higher one anyway so yeah fun times there that makes for a sore bum I got this storage container here from Goodwill um, like last year I think and um these pull out this one like if you can see that this edge kind of blocks it but you can lift it and pull it out so it's still like functional um i need to clean this out things like that can go down here out of the way like and then i've got like these little cups i can stick those in here and then they will just slide right back in there and that works just fine. Actually, I kind of would like these to be like this. And then the bottom one, I've got a lot of soap in here. I forgot what is down here. De-stress muscle gel. I think I got this in a FabFitFun box. I'm gonna try that. Let's leave that out. I got some peppermint Epsom salts. I don't know like why I have all this bar soap. I'm never gonna use this. I think I got it when I was, I used to coupon a lot. And this, this is a shaving cream I don't use very often. So I'm gonna put that in there. By the way, I tried that Billy razor thing. I did not like it. I know a lot of people do, but I was not a fan. So I only got it once and then I canceled my subscription. Um, I think that's all. Yeah, I think that's all we gotta put in there. So that's pretty, this thing is a good organizer. I've seen them on Amazon if you are in need of something like that. We just have like, see, you can see, I don't have a lot of space under here to store anything. 
We've got extra toilet paper. Let's see, I can put one of these on this holder out here. We've got shower cleaner, pine saw, basically. I'm not sure what I have in that. Probably Mr. Clean. And then I've got some Windex. So that's about all you can get under there. These are the shapers I was telling you about. The Hydro Silk Touch Up is what they're called. If you're interested in those. I ordered mine off Amazon. You may be able to get them somewhere else. But if I can find a link for it, I'll post it in the description box. So in this drawer here, um, I have a basket and then I've got like feminine products in the back here. And then um, just gonna stick some things in here to organize. These are like waste basket, bags, <laughs> liners, what do you call them? I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna stick that in there. I'm actually gonna put my face wipes in here. And um, some lotion, I think, if it'll fit. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. And then this drawer is Timmy's drawer. And he, let's see, I can tidy this up a little bit. Like these are just razor cartridges. He's got his beard trimmer here and more razor stuff here, extras. So I'm gonna straighten this up and we'll be done organizing this drawer. I'm gonna put this stuff up on the shelf in his little um, shaving basket that I put him up there so that he can find it easier. And then I'm just gonna leave this drawer with his um, beard trimmer. I think that's all I'm gonna keep in here. is all trash that I have to get away that I cleaned out of there except for this. I'm gonna get I'm gonna check this out. I'm gonna clean my mirror with this sprayway um, glass cleaner. Carrie Lynn recommended it on her channel and I have to say I really like it. So I probably will continue using this brand. Just takes a little. <laughs> good too. Honestly, I thought it might be even worse than this, so satisfyingly disgusting. It's hair, y'all. I lose more hair than the guy shed like a dog. Yeah. So 
you can see all the leaves are starting to fall from this tree here um today is october 24th and i would say by halloween all of these trees will be red and orange and yellow so just you know a week maybe you can see in the top of this tree right here it's already starting to turn colors it's gonna be so pretty back here once it starts turning i gotta get some blinds to go in this window here so it kind of looks bad with just those orange curtains and someday maybe in the spring i don't know but we're gonna have a porch built here and it's gonna come like from right here down past this window and then I'm going to have wide steps coming across the front. And it's going to be lovely. Just sitting out here in the yard enjoying this beautiful fall day. Like, you probably hear the wind blowing. <laughs> and you could probably hear Irvin back here meowing. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. People ask about the cat all the time. Timmy has named him Irvin. I don't know why. I usually call him Kitty, but here he is. He will not let me pick him up. I don't know what he's got against being held. <laughs> he just wants me to pet him while he's sitting. Bonnie, on the other hand, she's just a rotten girl. Kitty, 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 kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. But if I didn't live in the South, this is probably what I would miss most about it is fall. Fall is my favorite. If you've never been around here um, in the fall, they start, farmers start smoking tobacco in the barns. And it's funny because when people come that aren't from around here, they'll see smoke coming out of these barns and they think the barns are on fire and they call 911. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're just firing the tobacco and it has this distinct smell to it and some people don't like it a lot of people love it and I'm one that loves it they even make candles around here that smells like tobacco being fired in a barn and it doesn't smell like cigarette smoke or anything like that it's just I don't know it's this very distinctive smell and it smells so good and I like like going down the road with the windows rolled down sun shining and passing those and just deep breath smell it in it smells so good you probably are like you're weird that doesn't sound good at all but it is y'all i love it a lot of you guys ask questions about bonnie um she is five years old i got her from my cousin who um had her since she was a puppy i believe and she ended up having a baby and she had two other dogs in the house and a cat and it was just a little much so she allowed me to have bonnie to bring her home with me thankfully and it happened to be on my birthday so i say she's the best birthday present i ever got so i cannot ever thank her enough for this little sweetheart <laughs> Irvin the cat he was a stray. He just showed up one day and has been around ever since. It was last year sometime, so he's been around a while. I cannot keep him in the house because Timmy is allergic. If he comes in contact with cat hair, his eyes get all red and itchy. And so, unfortunately, I can't. If it wasn't for that, the cat would probably be in the house. Um, do y'all have problems with yellow jackets right now? First it was the stink bugs, now it's yellow jackets. They're everywhere. Every time I open the door, one gets in. One stung my little nephew this morning, bless his heart. Yep. Stop that butterfly. Let me see it. it. Take a picture of it? Yeah. You got it upside down. In. Ooh, look at that deer. Yeah. It's like... Who bought that for you? Nana. Nana and Papa? Yep. Look, he got him with the deer fingers. The deer got him? He makes fingers and his antlers. <laughs> oh no. Oh no.
shot. You like playing on Timmy's ramp? Uh -huh. Rolling your trucks down it? Uh -huh. Stephanie. What? This is a deer. And your deer? Yeah. yeah. Actually, this deer doesn't have wheels. It <laughs> has walks. He gallops down it, don't he? Uh-huh. Did the deer gallop or just horses? Just horses. Just horses. Just he deer. just walks down it. He's a, a zombie deer? Yeah. Really? Here we go. You gonna catch it? No. Why? You me jump it off of there? Uh -huh. One, two. Catch right. it off of that thing. Huh? What it will be fun if it jumps. It's gonna off jump that. off these steps? Yeah. You ready? Wait until I come up. You was aiming for the deer? Uh -huh. Oh, oh! I'm gonna bump him. Oh! You got a deer on your truck. Driving it. What is this thing called? A Polaris. A Polaris. It's a Razor. It's a Razor's Polaris. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go get the human that rides in it. The human? Yeah. <gasps> Two over there after us, isn't it? You gonna fight them? Uh -huh. We gonna fight them. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you once again for all your support on our channel, for watching all of our videos, all of your likes, your comments, for subscribing, for all of your prayers. We appreciate each and every one of you. You guys have a great afternoon and we will see you in the next video.